Oh, my son. You should get home early today. Eat something. Get some sleep. Stop annoying me, Mother. Nothing but work in the tavern. You should settle down. Find a woman. Leave me alone, Mother. Can't you see I've work to do? And what good will it do you, son? You'll sail and never return. Leave me all alone. Mother! Like father, like son. Fools are both of yous. Ah, uh, sail to your ruin. You'll betray no one else, Elvin, bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Commander Dorito will explain everything. You've no right! What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison coquetting us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. I'll do it, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. We'll wait out here. Make it quick. A lot of blood, and I'm about to find out who it belonged to. Scoyatel arrows. This is pretty clear. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? They're dead, riddled with arrows. I know nothing about that. What do you think, Witcher? Seems like two soldiers wandered into the cave, maybe to drive away monsters. But just because somebody convinced them to go. I don't know how many monsters they managed to kill, but I do know who got them. Scoyatel. Bollocks. Last I recall, Neckers don't know how to use bows. Hi, lads! Let's find a tree! No! I'll tell you everything! Just don't kill me, please! Speak. You need to see this. You won't understand otherwise. See plowing what? The bitch is lying! We'll see. You lead. Squirrels. Thanks for the help, Witcher. Here's your orange. You're coming with us, bitch! You shouldn't have left Dimitri, stupid whore. Death awaits you all! Curse you, Dwan! Here comes the Witcher. I don't give a Think he'll agree? No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. He'd be ideal. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. Fires are common enough in the city. Greetings! Who right brings you here, White Wolf? Wolf. Make yourself at home, Syria. please. Do we know each other? It. I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel. Fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. 
The non-humans in Flotsam are organized? We aren't. But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorbeth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tanceville purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add, as generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. Godspeed! What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the Old Ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the Young Ones, who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they are but a shadow of the Enche's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Any idea what Yorbeth intends, towards Lorita or the local humans? Only he knows that. But I suspect he's at a loss, unsure what to do. He's in the area, mounts the occasional ambush, then lies low for a few days. But he's yet to put together a larger attack. I think he's waiting for the Commandant to lower his guard. It would appear so. But Yorveth is famous for his viciousness. He's fought regular troops, attacked much larger settlements. Delaying the fight this long is unlike him. Unless there's something I don't know about. I need to make a few orans. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded. By them, or their families. No harm in trying. Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. 
I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Seven. Involuntary cramps of the facial muscles. It's St. Vitus syndrome. He's dribbling. He's dangerous. Lock him up. They deserve to suffer! I beg you, help! Give me some medicine! Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine. A sedative. Blood. Where's it all from? You must clean it. To the fire. Whatever happened. To the stone. Fresh is it mine? And on those who are mad. Clean it. Blood. Blood. Where's it all from? You must clean it. What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert? Lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilfgaardian. He was desperate to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb if you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process, and we celebrated. 
talked of how we would divide the treasure and took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Quickly. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before, but when they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and willing. Two nights later she slit our commander's throat and that was all we saw of her and of the map, of course. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return where none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. And? I met the Nilfgaardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Witcher, I beg you. Do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts. Anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. Pig hearts? I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. You return. With hearts and eyes. And now you'll swear an oath. Once I give you what I've brought, you'll release your hold on this place. Not so fast, Witcher. I want a pact. I want you to swear on this curse. Then keep your word or your lust for revenge will go unsatisfied forever. I'll trust you. Let shadows withdraw into darkness. Let madness be soothed. Let what has died be buried. Let this place that was cursed be so no more. Now, give me what you brought. Fool, who knows not that the dead cannot be deceived. You sought to rob me of my revenge, dog. You shall share the fate of those thieves. destroyed the Nilfgaardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. I've lifted the curse, but the perpetrators must be punished. What are you going to do? I'll take you to Laredo. Let him pass judgment. No. Not him. Just not him. We'll not go anywhere. Shut up.
Halt! Who you got there? Murderers. Lorito needs to judge them. Get out of here. Look at him acting like a constable. Guests? How nice. Bring him to me. We shall talk about the good old days. <laughs> My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates near magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. You're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case, I'm not about to denounce you, nor do I want to see you dancing naked in the moonlight before Veopatis' shrine. How dare you? I want to buy some herbs. Herbs? For personal use. What do you know about protective amulets? I'm no sorceress, but I know a bit about magic. Why do you ask? Take a look at this one. I have reason to believe there's something not quite right about it. Hmm. I'd say there's magic in it without a doubt. I'd gladly buy it from you. Why do you care about the amulet so much? I collect antiques. They may be useless to others, but I see value in them. I don't believe you. You want to buy a piece of metal just because it's old? I don't have to explain myself to you. I'm a witcher. You don't want to lose a customer like me. Huh. I suppose you've convinced me. Let's get down to it then. This isn't any old talisman. I'm almost certain it's Melitele's heart. It's a very powerful artifact. At least, it used to be. It isn't anymore? It was cursed, and the spell distorted its effect. It once protected those who wore it, now it brings misery upon them. Why do you want to buy it from me then? I know a ritual that can restore its original power. Unfortunately, the necessary ingredients are extremely rare. What do you need? Essence of death, a troll's tongue, the eyes of an arachus, and an Endrigus fetus. I might be able to get you those. I want to know everything there is to know about this ritual. Ask away. Tell me more about Melitele's heart. They say the talisman was made at the time of the conjunction of spheres. It gave those who wore it supernatural powers. Some didn't like that. The talisman was cursed by a dark force and lost its former power. Can you conduct the ritual? I see you have all the ingredients. If you make up your mind, Come to the statue of Veopatis at midnight. All right, I'll be there. Here at last. I don't know many brave enough to venture into this forest, especially at night. I do not fear the squirrels, and I have my methods for the monsters. Interesting. This place is full of mysteries that even witches can't imagine. You're the main mystery right now. Why do you need me? I don't know the ritual. You'll find out once I begin performing it. Are you ready? Let's begin. Prepare, Witcher. And now, watch this. You must fight them! I need time to finish the ritual! Shit, you stink! Did you manage? Melitele's heart has regained its former power. I can feel it. I never thought you could conduct rituals of that sort. <laughs> did you take me for a village witch who puts bread and cobwebs on wounds? What you did is closer to sorcery. Sorceresses, with all their learned books and schools of magic. What do they know? 
magic witcher, is the heart beating fast, or the smell of wet, rotting wood. It upsets the underbelly and makes you weep and cry. It's the sigh that misses a field mouse nest. It's people coupling under the new moon till it hurts. It's blood spilled and sweet milk flowing. That is magic. I've experienced all that and seen everything. I can control it. I wouldn't trade places with any sorceress. I don't know if I understand you, but I sure admire you. Take this talisman as a memento of our meeting. But you really wanted it. You helped me lift the curse from it and ask nothing in return. Generosity is a rare virtue. Melitale's heart can once again bring luck. I think you will get more out of it than I will. Thank you. Come to me if you need anything. Better the devil you know. How many more can there be? Thank you, Master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass. Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. Got a troll here? Aye, he trolls in the forest by the river. But he's a good fellow. Don't you dare harm him. One of the helpful ones, I see. Does more good than Lorido, and drinks a lot less at that. Repairs the bridge and causes no mischief. Don't take your blades to him, please. Any work for a witcher? Enough work for three. But what of it? We're poor folk. I'm sure we can work something out. Ye best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Just leave the troll be, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. I heard you don't want to get rid of the troll. Who'll maintain the bridge when he's gone? Hire some people. Know the cost of a craftsman these days? That idiot troll looks after the bridge for petty tolls, more or less. The bridge is in ruins and the troll's robbing people. Aye, it's because he's hit the bottle. If you could help him stop boozing. I'm a witcher, not a nanny. I'll pay you well. How much? A hundred orens. Two hundred. You're costly, but what the hell? Let him see I place the village's welfare above all else. Any idea why Lorido put a price on the troll's head? Commandant Lorido has Flotsam's welfare in mind. Mm-hmm. But the troll tends to the bridge, keeps it in repair. Not likely. To start with, that's a dangerous beast. In addition, he pays no taxes on the tolls he collects. What do you do? I'm the royal castellan. I look after Flotsam's provisions, fortifications, and so forth. So if I exterminate a monster, I need to see you about the reward? Indeed. You could start by filling in Form H-12 and taking it to... I don't need to. I've got immunity. Ah. Well, you'll find the notice board out in front of the inn. And good hunting to you. I solved your worm problem. I believe you, but the Commandant... Are remains proof enough? Quite. Here's your coin. I've brought some necker remains as proof of... I know what they prove, Witcher. The reward is yours. No. No what? No passage. Give vodka you passage. Do I look like an innkeeper to you? No vodka, no passage. Die.
Enough! Don't hit! I be good! You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Don't know. Me sit on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. Had no head. Guts to drink. In can't go, people that kill. But guts to drink. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You no find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia, it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Thessa. What happened to Foltest? Want to know the version that is yet to make it to Flotsam? The king died in mysterious circumstances. The Witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This will stay between us, I promise. The killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword, hoping the killer walks into range? I don't have to. The killer's in the forest with the Squiatel, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Foltest's assassination, <sighs> you gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. They're always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demofen's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilfgaardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Bards singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontar and will ford it and strike any day. Well, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edern's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Edernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I'm having flashbacks, Dandelion. What have you remembered? My own death. 
I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. What's going on, Geralt? We arrived in Flotsam, we saw the killer, we've pissed everyone off. What next? If the Kingslayer's in Yorvet's care, we'll have to get them both. If we go out into that forest to look for elves, all we'll find is our own death. We'll visit Laredo as invited. He may be a hick heading a bunch of imbeciles, but this is his territory and he could prove useful. How can the commander of a Temerian garrison just piss all over the commander of Foltest's special forces? The Blue Stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you hadn't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. But Laredo's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Scoia'tael. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, and Edirne. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam on the border between Temeria and Edirne, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the ass. The North's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Laredo in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Vergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive to say the least, Witcher. So long, Roach. Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenridge, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a gavotte. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to Eudora, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Brackenrigs. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. How are you killing time in this hellhole? At present, polishing gems for Sheila de Tanserville. Requires precision, but it's well-paid work. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it, a regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament for those sorceresses, I'm telling you. Is there a good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like Dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. You could also look in on some merchants. I don't think Laredo's robbed them of everything yet. Can I ask you something, Zoltan? Sit down, Geralt, you old goat. Drinking alone is as bad as shitting in company. Another time, maybe. You've been here a while and probably know the local customs. I'm no researcher, but go on, ask away. Who would need a troll's head? Same folks who need a bear's head to hang on the wall, show how plucky they are. A peasant with a troll's head in his wall can raise many skirts. Thanks. What are you off to? Sightseeing, round the houses of Lobenden. Alchemists use troll tissue in their research, don't they? Troll eyes and tendons are potent ingredients, useful in many potions. White Raffard experimented with their blood, claiming it had regenerative properties. He was wrong, of course. Is there any reason an alchemist would want a troll's whole head? I don't think so. Unless he wanted a trophy. A female troll's head. Excellent work. In it? The finest hides and the tannins on half are either. A straggler, yeah? A lobber there? Sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you.
You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now. What with all those monsters? They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoyatel attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us. Where do you get that head? I bought it. Cost me a fortune, but it was worth it. No one else in Lobindon's got a troll's head. Who do you buy it from? Dimitri. Who else would dare trap a troll in its very own den? Where can I find this Dimitri? That I don't know, but you'll find his mates carousing at the inn in the evening. I'd like to buy that head from you. No way! The head's mine, you smelly swine. I'll give you a good price, unless you'd prefer to trade. Hmm. We could roll some dice for it, provided you make it worth my while. Thanks. That was helpful. I'd like to play dice. Shall we play now? You're good. Here's your coin. I heard you deal in traps. Indeed, though that's not all I deal in. I don't want coin, I want something else. Suit yourself. Choose. I want the she-troll's head. See ya! Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. We've got a wanted man here. Grab him, boys. What's going on here? Competition, brother. With the port closed, we're bored off our asses. Care to take part? What are the rules? The contenders put their coin down. Winner takes all. The fighting rules. Drop your opponent and make sure he stays down. Complicated. So? Are you fighting, brother? Oh, yeah. He's a fresher like you, brother. Good for starters. Put your coin down. I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin. Left hook. Watch out for the left hook. Wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Up for another, brother. Who's up next? Cor Bransel, known as Flippas. Strange name. Does everything backwards. Sleeps in daytime, drinks before he eats, and tells women to get dressed before he plows them. Flippas. Show us your orans. I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin. Punches lights out! In the kidneys! Hey, champ! What? I can tell you're a serious contender. Far too good for this drunken riffraff. Believe you me, I know what I'm talking about. So? I don't know you. They call me King Ziggy, because I pay like a king. If you want a taste of fame and riches, look for me by the inn in the evenings. I'll take you to the right place. That was fucking poetry! Up for another, brother. Who's up next? I knew you'd end up fighting each other. Who's that? Tidy Tib. The bastard eats honey straight from the hive, drinks for four, and some say he can hang a bucket full of water from his cock. You better get a solid coin pouch ready. I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin! Wait till he drops his fucking guard! Congratulations! You dropped some of the toughest brawlers! Well done! Tournament's over! Punches light! Do you work for Dimitri? Who's asking? Cause you see, friend, I'm starting to find this a mite confusing. 
You here at the bidding of that old rag, the Fist Tech boys, or Laredo. And be straight with me. I heard you hunted down a troll. None of your plowing business. Heard of the butcher of Blaviken? Who hasn't? You say you can gut a man with a single cup? Yeah, I can. And if you don't tell me where I can find Dimitri, I'll splash your guts on the walls. Steady. Start talking. Dimitri hangs around the cemetery near that stinking village. See? You can be nice. All you need to do is try. Luido will know that's no squirrel, but an ordinary elf. He won't know shit. Ears pointy, check. We'll dress the corpse in green and collect an even hundred. Heard Melena makes more than that. I guess robbing the soldier is better business than robbing elves. I'll not hear of that whore again, got it? Treacherous rag. She'll get what she deserves. Won't be long now. Couldn't satisfy her, eh? Can't fault the girl for being ambitious. And the stiff on the ground is who? Some spy from Vizima, soon to be our squirrel's grave mate. Laredo told me to get rid of him, and since we've got this vacancy in the boneyard, thought I might do our friend a small favour. He don't look like no spy. They never do once they're dead. Oh, almost forgot. Might pay to search him good and thorough before we plant him in the dirt. You, Dimitri? Why the fuck do you want to know? The troll sends his regards. Kill him! No witnesses! Trolls bite the dust! Give vodka, dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight's shit. Why, Buck? I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find. Will you fix the bridge? Trolls true. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head in peace. I found your wife's head. My woman, I not forget. I give reward. Why, Buck? You're imagining things, troll. There's no one here. I spared the troll. I true. Good on you. You owe me 200 orins. You'll get 100. Listen, I made deals with you and the troll. He kept his word. You're trying not to. I haven't the coin. Sure you don't want to look a little harder? What if I don't find any? Then I'll look myself. This is robbery. Here, I hope you choke on it. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. Spit it out. Know what Flotsam's famous see that? for? Nothing. You're wrong there. There are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful hordes in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fighting scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I promote fighters, place them in tournaments, singled you out and ventured to say right, you'll not regret that. Come on! Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy? I know you. But who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farm hand you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see. The Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right. But if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. Laredo? In the flesh. Does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. People will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. Hmm. Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion.
I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer? How'd you talk him into fighting? King Ziggy has his ways. All in all, looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win, and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because Bones snap with his every punch. I love these pussies with cocky names. Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Beautiful job, rearranging his face. Who's next? One Punch Matho. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Finish the fucker off! You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed, but we've a long way to go. Your next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tassel Dick. Not too popular then. He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Bring on this Tassel Dick. Sock it to him! One more, and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble, it takes at least four lads to take him down. I'll do it single-handed. Don't underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up, and everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Lorido? Stenek has to win, but the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours, and that's not an offer. I see. You're a regular con. Your opinions don't interest me. You ought to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Finish the fucker off! Pay up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. Why don't we have some fun first? A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. I tell him. Commandant Laredo sends his regards, punk. What now? Geralt of Rivia, the king of the witchers, the witcher of kings. Come on, have a drink with us. I wouldn't mind a shot. Celebrating something? A great victory. Interesting. We did away with Veopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his ass. You behaved like swine. What? We're not allowed a bit of fun? It was only a wooden puppet. Come on, let's play our game. Right, toothpicks. Knife throwing. Care to try me? Gladly. Vess against the Witcher. Place your bets, gentlemen. Ten to one on Vess. Witcher, map on the wall. Vase, barrel! Witcher, cured ham. Vase, fish head! Witcher, all on the wall. Geralt wins. There they are! Those are the shitheads who desecrated Veopatis' statue! Pitchforks! Which will you say, Bumpkin? What's going on? Nothing. We had a little competition. They threw knives at a statue of Veopatis. It's blasphemy! Are gods desecrated by soldiers? They're no ordinary soldiers, but blue stripes. 
Know what that means? Blue or green, it's all the same to me. They're horsons, all of them. What did you say? I, I, I just... You said what you thought. Good, that's the way. Beer for this brave man. And drink to my health. Here's to the whore's son, Vernon Roach. Vernon. You've got shitty glassware in Flotsam. Not fit for a hero, but I've got an idea. Drink the Horson's beer from the floor. Geralt, do something. I'll try. Vernon, leave them alone. What if I don't? Enough of that! Stop it! Get up, Vernon. Didn't mean that to happen. Leave me alone. You're too hard on Roach. I don't like sadists. Vernon was a half-orphan. What does that have to do with it? He was raised in poverty. His mother turned to whoring to keep them from starving. The other children called him a whore's son. Hasn't been able to handle that insult since. Come on. Let's have a drink. All right. Remember when we had a wait in the cave for reinforcements? How could I forget? We ate Pete, we were so starved. Ah, those were the days. Here's to Pete, tart and nutritious. Uh-oh. What do you say to a little competition? A keg of beer to whoever beats Geralt to arm wrestling. And if Geralt wins? I'll give you my sword. A true antique, but it sacks off many a head. You don't make them like this anymore. All right. Me throat's a little dry. Pour us a drink, someone. Remember when our better lieutenant I could plow four elven oars at once? He said we'd sooner cross the sea on the asses of four whores strapped together to make a raft. I'd have managed it. Sure. If only there were that many elf women at the brothel. Let's begin. We'll see if 13 can beat the Witcher. Thirteen proves too weak for the Witcher. Keep practicing there, mate. Plow off the lot of you. Somebody pour me a drink. Remember when I rode my horse into a tree? Can't say I do. Have a shot. It'll refresh your memory. Gentlemen, now it's Fen against the Witcher. Geralt, the prize is yours. May it serve you well. Gentlemen, to our health. Just like after the Battle of Gag... Gagu... Gage. Aye, that was a right piss-up. We puked all over the battlefield. To paradise on whore's asses. Got drunk as newt, you did. Never seen anything like it in my life. Anything like what? Such a sight. Meaning? Better you don't remember. But I want to know. I tell you for a few or ends. There, now talk. Talk to the madame. She knows the details. Something's troubling me. Let's hear it. What does a bloody witcher actually eat? Uh, mushrooms? Spuds? Why spuds? Because he's a human like us. He sweats, he bleeds. But we eat spuds too. Ever heard of doing it witcher and Strigoth style? <laughs> no, tell me. He downs the flat. Tries to get it on, falls fast asleep, and she wakes up a virgin in the morning. <laughs> Praise Melitale.
Greetings. What can I get you, fine lad? They say you know what happened here yesterday. I do. But you'd be better off not asking, darling. Talk. Nothing's for free. Especially in a brothel. All right. Talk. Five of you came in. Or crawled in, I should say. I was crawling? Indeed. One of the blue ones ordered five girls. I gave you the best because you showed me good coin. What happened next? This is the interesting bit. Because instead of ploughing them like the normal soldiery, you mounted them and told them to give you a ride to the port. Can't be. Ask the lass in the uniform, then. Vess was here, too? Sure was. She tried to stop you, but you were too much for her. What do you think of the Commandant? Mr. Laredo is a great man. A great man. He looks after us, helping, like... Taxes are just as they should be. We're all pleased he governs the trading post and we're all perfectly happy here. What are you talking about, woman? Feeling all right? The town's a dump. Lorito's robbing you and his men intimidate everyone. That's foolishness, Master Witcher. Shouldn't say that. Shouldn't badmouth the Commandant. He's a holy man. Period. Excellent. You're a model citizen. I'll be sure to inform the Commandant. Bah. Do I need publicity? I'm a humble woman. I know what's good for me. The reader's our leader here and everything's all right. You fear him that much? Don't you provoke me. Beat it! Hmm? I talked to the madam. Is what she says true? I tried to talk you out of it, but you insisted you'd cross the river on the whore's asses. You tried for several hours, but it just wasn't going to be. What happened next? You said you wanted to be one of the blue stripes and had to get yourself a tattoo. What tattoo? One like ours. And you got it. Shit. Where are my things? You left them all over the place. I gathered them in that trunk by the window. Thanks, Vess. How did you end up in the blue stripes? Why do you ask? You don't end up in a unit fighting non-humans by accident. You must have an interesting story to tell. Why should I tell it to you, of all people? I have trust issues. I like to know who's covering my ass. No need to worry, Witcher. I'm good at what I do. Do I see a sensitive little girl hiding behind a mask of indifference? I wouldn't be here if you were right. I was raised in a small village where people cared about two things only. If the drought was going to destroy their crops, and if the Scoyatel would appear in the local woods. One day, a large Scoyatel unit appeared. They burned the village to the ground and slaughtered all the inhabitants. I alone survived because their commander, the bastard, fancied me. They dragged me around with them for months. I knew they'd kill me once they tired of me. And then Vernon turned up. Did he draft you into service? He taught me everything I know. In time, I realised my place was with the Blue Stripes. I'm a soldier because I'd do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from 80 paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. Is your hatred towards the Scoyatel some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoyatel, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoyatel are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Scoyatel. Must be, if he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Foltest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. Nice area, isn't it? I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. So long. Listen, you know how to remove a tattoo? I thought you looked different. Couldn't put my finger on it, though. Hmm. <laughs> Think it looks all right? What's it of? A naked lady brandishing a sword? Geralt. All right, you can stop now. Hey, I didn't give you that tattoo. There's this mixture that cleanses the tissue just beneath your skin. 
And to make it, I'll need green mold, white myrtle petals, and wolf's aloe. <laughs> I've got the ingredients. Sure you don't want to keep it? Just get rid of it. <laughs>